There are some bugged items that you might pass up as normal and naturally occurring items in Hypixel Skyblock. There isn't anything explicitly wrong with their textures, rather their intention to be in the game, or their removal from the game due to poor functionality or sometimes just no functionality at all. Most items like this fall under the category of legacy items, which are very popular among the Hypixel Skyblock collecting community. I will be excluding the intentional and common legacy items shown on screen due to their abundance and the lack of interest most collectors have for them. The horse armor, name tag, and saddle items are items that were intentionally put into the game by admins, but they had no use to your normal Skyblock player. There was only one major way to get these items, which I'm sure most of you veteran players will remember. Before the fishing update pushed on July 2, 2019, the horse armor, name tag, and saddle items were normally obtainable as rare drops from fishing anywhere in Skyblock. After this update, the admin saw them as pointless and removed them as a drop which makes them a decently rare collectible today. More recently though, it was possible to spawn villagers in hub islands by shift-clicking spawn villager eggs onto blocks such as the anvil and crafting table. With these villagers, it was possible to get the saddle trade, which made it an alternative method to obtain saddles. The salmon hat is an item which has been coming soon since the very beginning of Skyblock. This item has never officially been added to the game, however the recipe was accidentally added by the admins. Some Skyblock players were able to guess it, and it was crafted with 8 salmon arranged in the crafting table like this. The recipe was removed by the admins in late 2019, and they haven't added it back since. Their price on the auction house seems to fluctuate quite a bit, but recently its price range has been around 15 to 50 million coins. Salmon armor was added to Hypixel Skyblock on November 26, 2020. Initially, this armor set's rarity was epic, but the admins decided to change it to rare a few days later on November 29th. Original sets maintained their rarity and are still purchasable today, but for way more than normal salmon armor price. You can currently buy them for upwards of 25 million coins apiece on the auction house. The Frosty Snowball is a legacy item that was in the game for a very short period of time. This item was intended to be used as ammo for your snow cannon. Originally you could open the snow cannon GUI and take them out of it. Unfortunately after one day of it being in the game, the admins decided it was a bad idea and removed the ability to take it out of your cannon. Recently it has been selling for an average price of 1 million coins, which is very cheap compared to other sought after legacy items. Ember Ash Armor and the Sharp Rock item go hand in hand when it comes to their creation. Similarly to the Salmon Hat, these items were not officially released, but their recipes were accidentally added before intended. On June 3rd of 2021, the Ember Ash Armor was introduced as the Flame Breaker Armor, a set used for mining in the Crystal Hollows, and the Sharp Rock item was introduced as Silex, an item used to increase the efficiency of a tool. The problem that arose with their premature introduction was that the crafting recipes were dirt cheap. The only thing the Flame Breaker armor required was a few pieces of coal arranged in the shape of each armor piece, and the only thing Silex required was quartz arranged in that of a quartz block. It was for this reason that the admins decided to change these items altogether, making them revert into Ember Ash armor or the Sharp Rock item once updated. The cool thing though, is that you can still view the Skyblock IDs of these items, making it an eternal reminder of the admin's mistake. The Redstone Key is an item I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with, especially if you've played dungeons a lot. It was obtainable for a very long period of time, but it had no value to players because it was impossible to get out of dungeons. At least, that's what most players thought. When Dungeons was released on July 7th of 2020, the Redstone Key item was able to be warped with, without it disappearing. This was because it didn't have the Don't Save to Profile tag, which is pretty self-explanatory. This was very short-lived however, because the July 14th Dungeon Patch gave the Redstone Key this tag, making it impossible to remove it from Dungeons without some sort of tag manipulation. Very recently though, on May 11th 2023, admins removed this item from Dungeons completely, making it now unobtainable in any way. They can still be obtained through trading or the auction house, but good luck finding one for cheap. If you have any further questions about any of these items, or something not included in the video, 
please leave a comment and I will try my best to answer it to the best of my ability. Thanks for watching.